This is the best dollar I have ever spent on a video game. Well, I guess technically, sorry, let me get comfortable. I guess technically it was free because I used my Nintendo credits on it. But what a treat this game turned out to be. Initially, Conduct Together seemed like it should just be some mobile phone game. It didn't seem good enough to be on a console, specifically the Nintendo Switch. But oh, was I wrong. When I initially started playing the game, I was prepped for the same disappointment most mobile games give me. I thought, like most mobile games, the levels would be so simple that anyone can beat them, and that after the levels, I would be bombarded with ads. Even though this was on the Switch, I still had ad anxiety. What can I say? Mobile games have scarred me. I guess it was also the fact this game was only a dollar, I was extra skeptical. The objective of the game is to transport a certain number of civilians from one train station to the station with their corresponding color. The train will turn the color of the people you are transporting, making it easier to manage multiple trains at once, getting them to the right stations. You will also have to avoid obstacles in the form of cars crossing the tracks, and giant cargo trains that will ruin your day. Once you reach the total number of transported people, indicated by the number at the top right of each level, you will beat that level. The trick is in not only beating the level before the timer ends, but also doing it in the fastest time possible. If the timer is still green when you beat the level, then congratulations! You get three golden stars! The way the game is played, you are given one or more trains to manage. Each of them has a button assigned to them, either A, B, X, or Y. This will stop the train in their tracks, or start moving them again. You also will have sections where you can have the train switch tracks. These are marked by arrows and a numbered triangle that indicates which button on the D-pad corresponds to each changeable intersection. You can also slow down time, which is ideal because you don't want to keep stopping trains. The more you stop the trains, the longer it will take you to beat the level thus making it hard to get the coveted 3 star rank. Slowing down time slows the timer so you don't lose time for using this function. I got to the point where I can manage pretty much all the trains without stopping them or slowing down time. And when you get to that point, it is super satisfying. You feel like this masterful conductor. I mean, that's what you're supposed to feel like, I guess. Once you get to the point in each level where you can just maneuver all the trains without stopping them or slowing down time, and you have this well-oiled machine going around, it is super satisfying to look at. You feel like, wow, I really made it as a conductor. And then you get to the next level, and then everything kind of goes to shit. Now, the name of the game is Conduct Together. So after feeling confident as a solo conductor, I recruited my girlfriend into the mix. It changes from a completely addicting solo experience to the perfect party game. There is no menu to select multiplayer in this game. Instead, you could have people jump in at any time. Just toss them a controller and they are good to go. You won't each be given a train to control. Each controller can control everything. It is up to you to decide how to divvy up the tasks. If there was only two trains, we would just decide on which one we're going to control and just move the tracks as needed for our own trains, trying not to crash into each other. When there were three or more trains, I would control trains A and B, and she would control trains X and Y. Again, each changing tracks as needed for our own trains, with the occasional assist if you see them slipping up. The game recommends playing with upwards of four players, but I reckon you can play with up to eight people if four people each get a train and the other four get a track to move. Okay, I admit it, I was skeptical of this game. Saw it for 99 cents on the market and I thought, why not? I'll buy it, 99 cents, that's nothing. That's the, that's the price of a pop. So I didn't expect much out of this game, but now I see it as an amazing addition to my Nintendo Switch collection. I definitely recommend picking it up. I just checked the marketplace recently, it is still 99 cents. Regularly priced is 20 bucks. 20 bucks might be too steep. I could see 10, maybe 5 bucks, but for a dollar? Go get it right now. It's a steal. But thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want more reviews on cheap games like this. And until next time, you go keep questing.